What's up guys, welcome back for a new Aviation Top 10. As an airline pilot, you need the best headset to properly listen to the radio communications and protect your hearing that will unavoidably degrade over the years. That's why in this video, we go over the top 10 aviation headsets for airline pilots. Make sure to carefully listen to each item of this ranking because all the headsets are good in their own way and it's worth taking some time to pick out the one that will suit your needs the most. All the links to each headset can be found in the description down below. If you already clicked the like and subscribe buttons, we are fully ready to get started. Number 10. The Telex Airman 850 Its predecessor, the Telex Airman 750, was known as one of the best-selling lightweight headsets in the world. The 850 doubles down on the value provided by adding active noise reduction capabilities and larger ear cups without compromising the lightweight design. With no batteries to worry about and set-and-forget volume control, this is one of the most convenient headsets available. The 850 allows the clear communication, providing up to 12 decibels of attenuation between 100 and 2000 Hz. Other features include a noise-canceling Electret microphone and a fully flexible boom. While many enjoy the features and quality, you get its price point between $400 and $500. It does suffer from an overall poorer sound quality as well as some discomfort issues on long flights. However, the Telex Airman 850 remains a pilot favorite, especially if you are looking for a lightweight design. Number 9. The Lightspeed Zulu 3 The Lightspeed Zulu 3 is a high-comfort, high-tech option with the performance capabilities demanded by a serious pilot. The design of the Zulu 3 has caught attention due to its emphasis on maintaining comfort through long flights as well as maximizing durability. The ear seals are about 30 to 50% larger than comparable models and are contoured to the curve of the jaw. The Zulu 3 is also built around a Kevlar core for lighter weight, increased flexibility, and improved strength compared to the industry standard. Lightspeed went one step further by bolstering the technology of their headsets. Each Zulu 3 includes FlightLink, an app-based feature that allows you to record and manage in-flight communications. The Zulu 3 has been compared to the Bose A20 in many aspects, but still falls short when comparing ANR capabilities. Still, many pilots claim that the Zulu 3 significantly reduces noise and allows for proper communication. Number 8. The In-Ear Faro Headset This is Faro's first and only in-ear headset model. Weighing only 28 grams and reducing the noise by up to 50 decibels, the headset dramatically changes the pilot's experience. It is a great headset for those that prefer earplugs over a heavier, over-the-ear headset. Faro developed a slow recovery composite foam that provides an effective seal that also allows for low pressure to be released from the ear canal. It also includes music input, dual volume control, and replaceable foam earplugs. A drawback to the Faro Air is its ability to stay fixed on the pilot's head. Many account to having to constantly adjust the microphone and headset. However, this inconvenience is often played off as part of a learning curve as the issue goes away with more time using it. Number 7. The UFQ A7 ANR 2020 UFQ's A7 is another competitor to the Bose A20. Often exceeding expectations, the A7 provides high level of comfort and ANR capabilities just as good as the A20. You will receive other features, such as a 360-degree rotatable mic boom and a premium noise-canceling Electret microphone. UFQ's patent-pending headset delivers high value at the price point of over half the Bose A20, great for those serious about their craft who are operating on a budget. The main disadvantage, which comes with the outstanding price point, is an underwhelming quality of the parts used. For some, the parts feel cheap, taking some attention from the overall performance of the A7. Overall, if performance is as important to you as saving some money, this is the headset for you. Number 6. The In-Ear UFQ L1 Continuing with another UFQ product, the UFQ L1 is the company's ultra-lightweight in-ear model. It is considered as one of the lightest aviation headsets in the world, weighing only 130 grams. It provides a noise-canceling Electret microphone with dual volume controls on the control box with a mono stereo switch. The L1's price point falls just over $200, which is in line with UFQ's objective of providing quality headsets at a fraction of the cost compared to their competitors. While many comment positively on the headset's durability, the L1's comfort over long flight leaves much to be desired. 
Reviews most commonly point out the headset's inflexibility and inability to stay in the pilot's desired position. The UFQ L1 is probably best suited for more experienced pilots flying shorter flights. Number 5. The David Clark DC-1X ENC Headset The David Clark DC-1X is a heavy-sitting headset that has earned the respect of the industry. When one of the only complaints found about the DC-1X is price, then you know you are receiving a high-quality product. It brings hybrid electronic ANR capabilities with advanced feed-forward and feedback technology along with digital signal processing to ensure high-fidelity audio for superior communications. Comfort is also one of the DC-1X's strong points. Using Outlast technology, the headsets include a heat-absorbing head pad and a leatherette ear seals that also reduce heat buildup. At 340 grams, it is also one of the lightest options in its class. As mentioned, the price of the DC-1X approaches $900. However, this is a prime example of you get what you pay for. Number 4. The David Clark Pro X2 ENC Headset with Bluetooth The David Clark Pro X2 is another testament to the company's craftsmanship and focus on quality design. The Pro X2 is another hybrid electronic ANR offering from David Clark at a fraction of the DC-1X's price and weight. Its capabilities also include automatic gain control, which is more effective in filtering out unwanted noises. The Pro X2 stands out as best in class when it comes to battery lifespan. It can go roughly 50 hours on a pair of AA batteries. Originally made for NASA, the Outlast Technology Headpad is the signature headpad of the David Clark headsets. Its embedded and micro-encapsulated phase change materials can regulate the temperature of the skin it has in contact, acting as a heat absorber. For roughly $150 less than the DC-1X, you will still get DC quality, albeit without all the high-tech sound functions. Number 3. The Bose A20 Aviation Headset All Bose A20 may be considered the most popular aviation headset on this list. The company combines its vast experience in the audio with the demands of the aviation industry to create high-quality headsets for pilots looking for the best. The A20 is best in class at noise cancellation and, as expected, has some of the best sound quality of any headset on the market. The only thing that some may argue is that it may be too quiet at times. Designing for comfort has not been compromised, though. The A20 is one of the lightest aviation headsets you will find at an astonishing 340 grams. That is, if we're discounting in-ear models. However, in Bose's quest to make a light and comfortable headset, it arguably contains too many plastic parts, one drawback in the eye of some pilots. Still, most agree that this is one of the most, if not the most, comfortable headset on the market. Pair that with Bose's audio superiority, and you have a winning product. Number 2. The Bose ProFlight Series 2 The Bose ProFlight Series 2 is Bose's top-of-the-line in-ear offering. Making major improvements upon its predecessor, the Series 1, Bose improved its comfort and stability while reducing the weight to 110 grams. A pricier option compared to the A20, the ProFlight Series 2 is suited for those who prefer in-ear headsets while maintaining high-quality sound capabilities offered by over-the-ear headsets. The headset is equipped with active equalization for enhanced communications and three unique levels of user-selectable acoustic noise cancelling. While a Bose offering will always surpass expectations, there has been some debate on the ProFlight's ANR that does not compare to previous Bose models and usually shows its shortcomings in noisier cockpits such as the Boeing 737. As a pricier option at over $1,000, the ProFlight Series 2 brings the comfort, reliability, and sound quality that will come with a Bose headset. Although, it is most suitable for experienced pilots who prefer in-ear models and higher tolerance for cockpit noise. Number 1. The Bose QC35 Combined with the U-Fly Mic Adapter The Bose QuietComfort 35 is not your average aviation headset. In fact, it is not an aviation headset at all. Then why is it on our list? The Bose QC35 is the company's high-end noise-canceling headphones that can be modified to function as an aviation headset. Paired with U-Fly Mic's Harmony Pro Adapter, pilots have been turning their QC35 into a functioning aviation headset for years. 
The advantages come from the dramatic cut in weight compared to a Bose A20, as well as its cost effectiveness. The combination will amount to between $5 to $600. The Harmony headset system works with all high impedance aviation communication panels and comes with several features including independent left and right ear volume controls, a thumb wheel microphone gain control, and compatibility with both mono and stereo communication channels. A major drawback is that the Ufly Mic Harmony adapter is not yet TSO certified. Despite this, the QC35 Harmony Pro combination has been a pilot favorite for years. What about you guys? Which headset did you like the most and why? Let me know by leaving a comment down below. Want to watch more aviation top 10s? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen right now. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to never miss any uploads. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.